Welcome to our lesson on calculating the volume of a square base pyramid. So to work out the volume of a square base pyramid, we're going to use a formula where the volume is the base area, which is the length multiplied by the width, multiplied by the perpendicular height, divided by three. So this is the formula for finding the volume of a square base pyramid. So we know the length is five centimeters. So a volume is five centimeters multiplied by the width, which is also five centimeters, multiplied by the height, which is six centimeters, divided by three. Before I calculate the numerator, I can simplify this fraction by dividing both by three. So divide this by three and divide this by three. So we have five times five, which is 25 centimeters squared. And the six centimeters divided by three is two. So the volume of a square base pyramid is 50 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's try another question. So in this question, again, we're going to use the volume is the length multiplied by the width, which is the area of a base, multiplied by the perpendicular height divided by three. However, you can see the perpendicular height in this question is not given. Instead, we have the slanted length of eight. So we can draw on this over here and it becomes a right angle triangle where here is your right angle. We know the slanted length is eight and this length is half of the base, which is six. And we're going to work out the height here. And we know that Pythagoras' theorem tells us the, the sum of the area on the, on the smaller two sides is equal to the area of a square on the hypotenuse side. So h squared will equal a squared minus the six squared. So h squared will equal 64 minus 36. So h squared will equal 28. And to work out the value of h, we'll square root both sides. The square and the square root will cancel. So the perpendicular height is approximately 5.3 centimeters. So now I can put these values back into our formula. So the volume is the length, which is the 12 centimeters, multiplied by the width, which is the 10 centimeters, multiplied by the perpendicular height, which we found as 5.3 centimeters divided by three. We can simplify this fraction, divide the numerator and denominator by three. So we have a volume is 12 divided by three, which is four. Four times the 10 becomes 40 times 5.3. So the total volume is approximately 212 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's try one more question. Do you want to try and work out the volume of this composite shape? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we'll begin again with a formula for the square base pyramid, which is the length times the width times the height divided by three. So we're going to work this out using the two different shapes. We have got the square base pyramid and we've got the cuboid below it. So for the square base pyramid, we need to work out the perpendicular height. And the perpendicular height is this length here. So we have this right angle triangle where the height we're trying to find, the slanted length is six, and this length is half of the 11, which is 5.5. So we know the h squared plus the 5.5 squared will equal six squared. So h squared will equal six squared minus 5.5 squared, so h squared will equal 5.75. And we can work out the value of a perpendicular height by square rooting both sides. So the height is approximately 2.4 centimeters. So the volume of our pyramid is the length times the width, which is 11 centimeters squared, multiplied by the perpendicular height, which we've worked out as 2.4, divided by three. We can put this into a calculator and we get 
approximately 96.7 centimeters cubed. So now we can work out the area of the cross section of a cuboid, which is 5 times 11, which is 55 centimeters squared, multiplied by the depth of 11 centimeters. So the volume of a cuboid is 605 centimeters cubed. Added to the pyramid, which is 96.7 centimeters cubed. So the total volume is approximately 701.7 centimeters cubed. Thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.